whether they're a solo agent, team leader, brokerage owner. And then they look up five years later and they say, how am I doing? And they end up wherever they end up. Right. You know, financially as well, whatever the numbers are, the numbers are. And my advice to people is step one is you got to have a plan around what you're building. You know, what do you want it to look like financially? How much money do you want to be walking away from the business with? And, you know, what does that mean for our margins? What do we got to be doing financially in the business around our gross profit and our expenses and all that stuff? And we, and, and you create a plan. So that's number one, have a plan. And then there's some basic financial, you know, steps that you need to take when you start to really decide to run things like a business. Right. And I think most people have this stuff figured out, but there's some that just don't. Number one is you have to have separate business and personal bank accounts, right? It's fine when you're a solo agent and all the money you get paid from your broker comes into your personal account. I did it that way too. But as soon as we decide we're going to run this like a business, especially once we start bringing staff people and we start spending money on marketing and tech and all this stuff, we've got to separate the bank accounts. Okay. So that's basic number one.